This week we're featuring Ruby and Zoisite, Blue Quartz Under the Microscope Cam, Bacon Bits on Why'd I Buy That, Seven New Jokes, and Christmas Levels of Merriment. The best part of NFT trading cards? The virtual bubblegum. Let's start the show. This is how I buy the ruby and zoisite is in slabs. This particular slab is thin, and that is the natural end there. But I've cut a couple pieces out of it. Didn't do too much with the pieces I cut out yet. That's why I haven't featured them. But I wanted a nice, beautiful red and green gem for Christmas. So I decided to cut the red area out with the big square and then cut the green area out in symmetry sort of that's what I was going for and I figured I'd do it with the uh, Dremel see how well that goes not very well actually it needs a new disc it's got a lot of diamond on the side of the disc but the end of the disc is pretty worn thin and this Zoe site is, the, gr the green part is actually pretty hard. The, the red part is also very, very, very hard. It's sapphire. It's corundum, so it is, it is stiff stuff. It's about as hard as a chunk of marble. Kiwi Claw, welcome to the show. How are you this fine Christmas day? It is new. Yes, it is a new gem. New and glorious. Ready to be cut. How are you? And thanks for coming by. <clears throat> okay, so. I cut it most of the way through and then snapped it. And it didn't snap very easily. I will say that much. I'm sitting there trying to hold my breath because I'm making a lot of dust. And I keep dipping it in the water. But, yeah, you can kind of see all the dust coming off of it. Wasn't quite sure. If the dust is safe to breathe or not. So I didn't want to breathe too much of it, right? Okay. There we go. We're about to break it. Oh, it's going to break. He's going to break it. Urgh, Hulk smash. Right on the ruby. Tired going to bed soon. You know, that's what we should have these days is automated beds so that I don't have to go to bed. Bed can come to me. I am... I, I am the master. The, the the bed is the worker. The bed should come to me. But instead, the bed is the master, and I am the worker. I have to go to the bed. What is this, the 19th century? No, 20th century? What is this, the 1900s? The late 1900s? You know what this is? This is gemming out with Jacob and chess, but without the chess. However, I do have a lottery card to scratch, our obligatory Christmas lottery card that we scratch every year. Now, I don't want to get anyone's hopes up because there's no way that we're going to win three years in a row. Which means there's probably not a lot to get excited about. But it is kind of fun. Scratch it on stream. Something I've been doing. Actually, I think I've been doing it four years now. So maybe we won four years in a row. Let's fire up the microscope, shall we? Get us a nice little look at these GM stones. Mm-hmm. Focus in so I don't blind everybody. Okay, 
microscope cam scene. That's what I seen. Is the ruby and zoisite under the microscope cam? Basically, the microscope cam is showing me I need to polish it more. Because, I mean, sure, there's pits. And, yeah, sometimes it makes more pits when you polish down. But look at these scratches over here in the zoisite. Those are from the 100 grit, which is the wheel that you see on the grinder right now. Is that it? Are we done with the grindar? The grindar. See the red in the in the video versus the red on the the purple on the microscope cam? The red in the video is more like what it's actually like. This camera is showing like some purpleness. And it's more like a red in the daylight and purple under the LEDs, really. So it kind of varies in color, doesn't it? <clears throat> I mean, ruby aside. And there's a little bit of white marble in there. Ruby aside, this green is a lovely green. I mean, Zoicide is is a nice green, gemmy, adventuring-esque version of Corundum. All the little sparkles in it and the nice, beautiful green color. And it's got that white marble and that black shale marble. I like it. It's beautiful stuff. We're going to shape some more of it. But I thought this would be a good Christmas gem, right? Okay, next video, please. And there we have our piece. And quiet. Because there's no sound in the video yet. But there will be when I fire up the grinder. So here is the size of this gem. Gem gemicological stone piece. I think it's nice. It's big. You could make a ring out of it. You could make a bracelet. You could make some sort of a necklace. You could make some sort of an eye patch or like like a, a an eye laser cover thing. Fancy that up, you know. Um, here's some uncut ruby and zoisite with the marble. Or unpolished, I should say. It's been cut. Here's the natural end. Here's part of what has been broken off. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. There. Yeah. Nice marbly stuff, you know? Good stuff. Oh, hey, Kiwi, if you're still here, I was thinking about getting the video game Alex to try with the VR headset. It's on sale right now. I just played that Blue Shift mod for Black Mesa. Great. Free game, and it's great. Well done, community. It's a community mod for the game. And it's really well done. I like it. There's something to be said about putting your heart into your work. Yeah. So anyway, this is the ruby in Zoisite. Before it's been polished. I got a couple other things I want to show. Here's the blue chalcedony I promised in the description. Let's see. I wanted to, uh, well, here, I'll, I'll show you the size of it. This is the size of it, so it's actually kind of large. And I was thinking about featuring it next week. I like it. It's turning out very nice. It needs to be polished. See the bottom, how it, it's got the one shiny spot, but then the other isn't shiny? That's because it, I'm not done grinding it. I wasn't planning on being that done with it. And here's why. It's still got one saw mark from when I cut it apart. 
And then it has one other spot right there. So it has two saw marks on this side of the gem that need to be grinded out. Ground out. Groundified. Out of vacationized. Pretty good polish on this side, though. I will say that much. Let's see if we can zoom in even more on it. Yeah. We're really getting in there on it. And it's got the this little bit of dirt in there, but I kind of like that because it keeps it from looking like a piece of glass. It shows that it's actual real stuff because it's on the side. It's not on the face of the stone. So it really kind of highlights it. It's got a little bit up here too that's like down in the stone. But you can't really see that too much when you're looking at it. Just under the microscope cam. Then I've got two other things. This is a piece of blue appetite. Most of you probably don't have much of an appetite because of all the Christmas dinner, right? I hope you got a lot to eat for Christmas. This has like a chunk of blue in the middle. That's why I wanted to show it. It's kind of unique. I'm not sure how to finish it out. You know, I'm going to polish it down to try and get rid of some of these pits. Hopefully we can still keep the dark blue area and the lighter blue area. I think I'm going to highlight the shape of the dark blue area with the light blue area around it. But I'm not sure if I'll have enough up here on the backside to really do that. I don't know. I'm going to have to grind on it and find out. I wanted to take a closer look at it see if we could get a, a better clue. On the inclusions to get an idea of how to finish it out. So, anyway, yeah, there is the blue appetite matches the gloves, right? Love this color, it's a great color. One more thing, don't know if I've shown this or not, it's a piece of topaz. Got a lot of scratches because it's not done yet. It kind of looks like it's done. It's it's turning out nice. Big rough piece, a lot of gnarliness, ground a lot out of it. I think I'm going to keep it basically this shape and even it out. But it's got like some blue color in it. See the blue in the middle? Those are like stripes. And then it's got those bubbles in the middle of it. So I'm like, well... Technically, I'm supposed to turn it so that it reflects, re refracts all the blue around, reflects all the brew around. And this would probably be the best way to catch it, but it would be so small. And even then, I might get rid of it just trying to grind it out. So I'm thinking just keep it as a showpiece, you know. We'll shape it up like this. We'll have all those blue stripes and the stripe of bubbles. And it'll be a beautiful piece. That's kind of an art piece, you know? I mean, that's what I do, is I, I, I make art gems. And that's the microscope cam. What else do we got for the show before we get to scratch off our lottery ticket? Why'd I buy that? Because I wanted to buy things, right? Christmas shopping. No. Sort of. I was Christmas shopping for my stomach. Yum. So, I bought the salad mix, right? Because that happens occasionally. Gotta eat them greens. And, you know, if you're going to make a salad, you got to balance it out. If you got lettuce, you need dressing. I need like two bowls. One for this much volume of lettuce and one for this same equivalent volume of dressing. Has to be equal. Equal weights lettuce to dressing then let's say you have carrots you know little carrot shavings you also need to have cheese shavings it balances out 
And then you got other vegetables in there like cabbage. When you got, you know, like slices of cucumber, you also need slices of bacon. So I went down to the bacon bits and there's real bacon bits. Bacos don't cut it. I get it. They were trying to do a market thing. It just doesn't work out. But real bacon bits do work out. I've tried them. And the ones I was trying, I was actually given. They were they were uh, Sam's Club style. It's good. It's good stuff. I like it. So I was like, all right, I'm going to get some while I'm at Walmart. And I walk down the aisle. I'm not even sure, like looking at it like this, I'm not even sure if they have them down there. So I get down to the salad dressings. I'm like, just running on hope. Maybe they'll be by the salad dressings. Go to the salad dressings. They got croutons, which I didn't even think to get. Sometimes croutons are good. Sometimes croutons are too crunchy. Maybe I'll do a wide eye buy that for croutons when I actually buy some croutons. But I, this time I got the bacon bits, which are the better option. We all know that. And so I got the bacon bits. And I, I get there and I'm like, okay, they got brand name bacon bits and they got off brand bacon bits. And they're actually pretty cheap. They got the little bag, the little sample size bag. You can do like half a dozen salads with it. And I'm like, well, these are pretty cheap. You know, it was like $1.77 for a little, you know, little the littler bag. And I was like, okay, I could get the off-brand or I could get the brandy brand. And I was like, I'm just going to get the off-brand. But then I saw something that caught my eye. And it was top shelf. So they were almost like I, I had the uh, off-brand bag in my hand. And that's how close I had to be. And I did one last scan around. In that split second, I saw there was a bag that said Applewood. I've always wondered, does Applewood actually make a difference in the bacon? Will I taste the difference? I was intrigued. So I decided I put, I put the off-brand back. And I got the Applewood. That's right. It was like Hormel brand. It's the white and red bag on the toppiest shelf that's showing right there. I think there's one more shelf above that. I couldn't get it in the camera. I'm standing back against the other thing, holding the cell phone in my face and going like this to try and get that picture. So I got the Hormel brand, and I was a little iffy because I've had Hormel pepperonis, not a real big fan of those pepperonis that you buy later. They don't really cook well on the pizza. They don't really taste well when they're on the pizza later. I don't know. I just don't. I, I keep getting hopeful. I'm hopeful, you know, every time I buy them to try them, like every six months or so. But they always let me down. So I was a little leery, but I was like, all right. It wasn't that bad. It was just disappointing. It was it. I ate them, I just wasn't as excited as I wanted to be about them. So I decided I'd hopefully see, you know, if the apple wood would come through. I'm not really sure what apple wood tastes like. I imagine it doesn't taste like apples. I want it to taste like apples, but probably not. So anyway, I, I, I mean, it's probably just a gimmick because apples are delicious. So I get the apple wood bacon. I took it up to the counter. I paid for it. I left with it instead of my money. And then I got it home and I tried it and I I can taste the difference. It's a smoky difference. Now I'm not sure how the apple wood compares to other woods, but I will say the smoked bacon did taste good. And I'm glad I bought that. I mean, that's why I bought that. And that's why I'm glad that I bought that. Have you ever bought bacon bits? You? You bought bacon bits? Which ones did you buy? There's a lot to choose from. Why'd you buy the ones you bought? Now, I gotta add one more thing before we're done with the why'd I buy that. There was a gal who was walking up as I'm taking the picture. Sweet gal. Nice gal. She's walking up, and I'm, I'm about to take the picture, and she stops out of courtesy because she's nice. And I, I put the camera down. I said, oh, it's an internet thing. She says, internet thing? Which I took as a gateway to just unload on her what I'm doing. 
Oh, it's a wide eye by that, etc. Here's my card. Scan my QR. Check out, because my, my business card has all my QR codes on the back. And she bought the low sodium off brand ones. She said she can't taste the difference between the brand and the off brand. And I was like, oh, it's just packaging, right? Yeah. Because a lot of times it is. It's the same manufacturer, they just change the packaging and lower the quality of, you know, and maybe it's like A shift bacon and B shift bacon, and one of them is better than the other. Either way, I, uh, I appreciate her input, and I thought I would include that in the story. Because it's part of why'd I buy that. That's why she bought that. So what do we got next? Jokes. For a portion of the program. Ah, this thousand grit working on this Ruby and Zoisite worked out pretty nice. I was able to get everything pretty even. I'm pretty happy with it. I really like how this gem turned out. It's one of my favos. It's one. Of, it's part of my favorite collection. Kind of like the orange slice. I really like that gem. Or my big topaz. My big uh, uh, ruby style topaz. And kind of like the jokes for the joke portion. What do I have this week? Anything? Anything at all? Uh, let's see. I went to buy a Christmas tree. I went Christmas tree hunting. I did not use a shotgun. I used my keen sense of shopping ability. And I went to the local Christmas treeery. Where they um, they sell Christmas trees. And they're, they're supposed to be all natural Christmas trees. And I asked them, are they free range or are they raised in a cage and uh he said they're free range they're grown outside i cut them myself i said i don't know if you cut these yourself your beard doesn't look long enough for you to qualify as a lumberjack um let's see oh i did gladys simon's um i did gladys simon's open mic party that was a lot of fun and they asked us at the end of the show what what makes you happy? Or more to, to be more specific, what would keep you from jumping off of a ledge? And I said, uh, what would keep me from jumping off of a ledge is fear of heights. But, I mean, actually, it, it, is, a, it is a big topic, you know. I mean, I had a, a pet pig who committed suicide. And uh, to be serious for a moment during the joke portion, you need to have something to hope for. And hopefully... You can hope for better jokes on next week's joke portion of the program. <laughs> uh, let's see, what do I got? Oh, oh, I got this great idea. We're going to make a tofu food manufacturer, and we'll call it Asterisk Brand Food. So you can buy Asterisk Fish Sticks, Asterisk Cheeseburgers, Asterisk Food. And it will be food, but it will be Asterisk Food. So there's, there's, you know, quotes around it. We'll call it quotation marks food. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, speaking of eating food, my personal trainer yelled at me for gaining weight. But I said, it's not my fault. I've been sleep eating. Which wouldn't be a problem if I was eating what was in my fridge, because my fridge is full of healthy stuff, of course. But uh, apparently I've also been sleep door dashing. I realize I do everything alphabetically because I'm alpha. Eh, I don't like that one. It needs to be I, I do every, I, because it's because I'm so alpha that I do things alphabetically. I don't know. There's a there's got to be another way to arrange that. I think alphabetically needs to come first. Uh, let's see, because the word alpha is more of a, a twist than alphabetically. Um. Let's see. Uh, the best part of NFT trading cards are the virtual bubblegum. I have an Aunt Maxine who used to sell vacuums. We call her Aunt Vaccine. I want to make a dating app called Blender. Because that's what they do to my heart. Speaking of which, does that new AI art 
that people are using to make selfies? Do, uh, you know, I'm wondering, does the AI art work on dick pics? Asking for a little friend. Oh, you know, I was Christmas shopping. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna get this one out so I don't miss too much of the jokes. Uh, let's see. Oh, I was Christmas shopping and I went to the shoe store. You know, because girls like shoes. I'm gonna get my girlfriend some shoes, and the uh, the salesman kept trying to sell me running shoes. I'm like, I don't like running. Do they have any sitting shoes? You know, shoes made just for sitting. And he said, oh, these running shoes are great, you know. You can use them to run to the store. And when you run into things, you can blame it on your shoes. And they're really great if you have an overactive bladder. Then you can just run to the bathroom. And I said, uh, my nose likes to run. Do you have any shoes for that? Actually, what I said was, do you have any running shoes that can help me run away from pushy salesmen? He said, no, the pushiest salesman wear running shoes so the customer can't get away. Uh, so I was about to leave the store, and my ex-girlfriend walked in. So I was driving home with my new running shoes, and my car broke down. Yeah, it sucked. I started walking home, and I called everyone I know for a ride, but they were all busy. I didn't get any answer. Then I got a call back from a number I didn't know. It was blocked or hidden or something. I don't know. I went ahead and I, I thought, oh boy, somebody's calling me back. They're going to pick me up. No, it was a, a phone call. They were trying to contact me about my car's extended warranty. So I didn't actually get a ride, but at least I had my running shoes. And... Oh, uh, one last thing. When I was shopping, you know, for Christmas presents, I got kicked out of Walmart. It wasn't because I was trying on condoms in the dressing room. It was because I kept asking the associate if they made me look fat. So I kind of, you know, got kicked out of Walmart, but um, at least I didn't get kicked out of... I got to be ready for this next time. I didn't get kicked out of the joke portion of the program. And none of you did either. You're fantastic. Thanks for joining me for the show. You guys are all so great. What do we got before I go? Because this is the ending card where I say, thank you for joining me. See you again next week and every week at 9 p.m. Eastern. Maybe we can go back to the live scene? And I'll just play a little bit of gem-related video. Well, I got some Moonstone that I'm working on. How about I play a little bit of that? I think that that's just Saw video, though. It's only like two minutes long. Um, how long is it going to take? Here's a 10-minute Saw video. You can see me saw... Some lemon, some blue chalcedony, an emerald, rose quartz, some prehnite, and the ruby and zoisite, which I didn't actually, you know, I saw a lot of off of this, and then I saw the last piece off with the Dremel you saw me saw. So, you saw me saw. So, let's get back to the show. Okay, what do we got? Oh, man, there's people, and my chat didn't work. How's it going? Fantastic folks. And I, I thought I was here by myself. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Hope you're having a great holiday. I am having a great holiday because all you great people are here. Half-Life Alex. Yes, Kiwi Claw. Grind and find. Hola, love. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Benny Loco. I thought I was just hanging here by myself, enjoying life, having a merry old Christmas. Koga. Applewood versus hickory and bacon is good. I'm gonna have to try that hickory. I'm gonna there's apple, there's walnut, there's pecan, there's hickory. Isn't hickory and pecan the same wood? And there's uh cedar and probably other kinds. Cherry wood. Mm -hmm. 
Let's see, doing all right, house by you. I am glad you're glad you bought that. Oh, that's bacon bits for you. Nothing wrong with self-promotion. Work has me coming in at 6.30. 6.30? What, for returns? Who's going to return stuff? Yeah, anyways. Blasted hardware. Anyone watch Charlie Chaplin? He's a good old chap. Never bought bacon bits. Made plenty of them, though. Oh, okay. So you make bacon, and then you, you turn it into, you know, digital bacon, and then you have bacon bits. Watch. What? What's uh, Charlie? Yeah, you gotta what's uh, him. Roxy Rance, welcome to the show. I found a DVD collection at uh, his house. Oh, I didn't know Charlie Chaplin had DVDs. You know what burns myself a flame about? Yay hi! Oh, that's a good one, Benny. That's what. That's that's something you tell when you're standing on stage. Benny, thank you. I didn't know if the sleep door dashing was going to be funny or not. I haven't tried that one out on stage. I'm going to have to try it out. Two nuns walked into a bar and the third one ducked because she was the smartest. Um, She was probably the head nun. Get it? Head? Because she didn't hit her. Anyway, not that funny. Yours was better, buds. Uh, thank you, Benny. Thank you, Buds. Thank you, Roxy. Thank you, Koga. Thank you, Kiwi. You guys are all fantastic. Let's scratch a little lottery card, huh? Before I run out of uh, whatever this is. What what gem should I use to scratch the lottery card? How about some jade? I think we used the ruby last year. Actually, I could use the ruby in Zoisite. Didn't I hook up a webcam to do this with? I can't remember. It's been a whole year. I can't even remember how we do it. I mean, we've done it like three or four times. Let's see. There's got to be some way to get that. Maybe we can put it on the peanut butter. Nope, wrong one. Webcam 2? Oh, hey, John's Christmas beer. I haven't seen John and Nellie in a long time. I was wondering if that still worked. <laughs> I've got, you know, chat box, webcam, webcam 2, gem close-up, background card, and then I have John's PBR up in the corner. That was for making batter for the batter-dipped uh, mushrooms and onion onion rings. And so we'd pour all the beer into this tub and then mix in the batter mix and stir it up and we made beer batter. I took the picture when it was just the beer in there. Just big old tub of PBR. Hey, Roxy, show that one to Joe. He'll get a kick out of that. He'll remember that. He uh, mixed up a lot of that batter. So much batter. We had to waste that batter, and I couldn't bring myself to waste it. We had to, like, dump it out and make more. And I was like, no, it's wasteful, but it was my job, so I was supposed to do it anyway, and I didn't. I did, and some some days I didn't. I couldn't bring myself to do it. Then other days I did. Good old work. Okay, which one are we on? Virtual camera, pro webcam. Why is it not on? The light's on. How do we get it to turn on? Nope, not that one. That's the gem close-up. That's John's PBR. I changed it from that to this. 
close, open again, HD Pro webcam. We don't still have the Christmas Santa Claus. I'm going to have to put that up. Product shelf? Oh, that's for the why did I buy that portion. We had a tight little show. And then here I am trying to do this in real time. Maybe we'll add a different thing. New source. New video capture device. Webcam 2. HD Pro Cam. No, it's still not working. Let's see. We will get rid of that. I think it's something to do with the way it's plugged in not working. Let's plug it in. I mean, I plugged it into the same spot as the microscope cam. Maybe it's showing up, but it's in a different area. Webcam, webcam 2. Nope, still not working. Maybe I should do it under the smart camera. Oh, maybe that's why it's not doing it, is because of the smart camera software. Live scene, webcam two, pro cam. Okay, so now the pro cam is not showing up since I closed that software down. Let's try it down here. HD webcam, C270, pro webcam. There we go. Shablizablam. All right. Just had to close down that weird software. All right. So, how can we do this in a way that will help you see what I'm doing? And still allow me to actually do it. Move this guy over. All right. All right. Doing things, getting it done, taking care of business, and making it happen. So, I think every time I try to use a gem, it doesn't work unless it's polished. Because I don't have a sharp enough edge. Maybe I should use the sunstone. Or maybe I should just use the piece of metal like I always do. Letter P. That's what we're going to do. We're going to use a coin. We're going to use a quarter from a million dollars. See the letter P. 
So what do you guys think? Are we going to win? And if we're going to win, how much are we going to win? I don't think we can win three years in a row. There's a letter P. Anybody got to go P? Letter F. You know what that means? Now we just need the letter U. Four mat. Five mat. T. We have the T. Anyone want a glass? Glass of tea? Let me know if I missed one. I always have them scan it when I turn it in at the store. I remember I thought I had a $10 one, but it was actually a $20 one. So you got to scan them. S. Are there any S's? Well, S. L for lollipop, which is probably what we're going to be sucking on when we don't win. Gagging, gagging on. L stands for lion, lion share. That's what we want. We want to win and have the lion's share of the winnings. H. Well, what the H? H for who? Just like the doctor. What the H? B. I thought it was an E, but it's not. It's a B. Well, ain't that a B? C D E F G B B B B B B B Ain't no bees. And that's how it be. X, we know how popular that letter is. And we actually have an X, imagine that. Examine. X for examine, which is what we're gonna do. To this card until we find out it's not a winner. Oxen. They actually put the X in there a couple of times. M. M. That's a popular letter. Unfortunately, it's only in here two times. I guess it's not a very popular letter. D. That's what they're trying to give us. They're trying to give us the D. That's what we get for playing the latter D. Hey, we got the letter E. Maybe we can win something and then we'll be able to eat. <clears throat> Y. 
Or we'll get really close to winning, but then we won't, and we'll go E. Missed an M. Five dollars. Okay, where did I miss the M? Is it at the top? Is it at the bottom? Oh, okay, format. Thanks, Colette. Alright, so... What's our next letter? V! For Valentine. At least there's a letter V. For victory, which is what we will celebrate if we actually win anything on this card. Overy. Overview. Okay. Ha. <laughs> ha. V. Okay. Even if we don't win, we'll still be okay. Is that okay? I hope so, because there's no K. Oh, wow, a Z. How kind of them to give us that letter. It means so much. Can you Z how much that means? V. I missed the V. There's a V in solve and voter. V. Two M's. Where's the other M? Missed a V. Where did I miss the V? Solve? Or did I, is that the one that I got? Here, I'm going to dust it, dust it off. Dusty game board. Top left. Okay, which side's the left? It's, well, it's not the right, it's the, it's the one that's left. Um, overview, operator, enamel, enamel, oh, there's the M, okay, great job, very, very good, okay, there's no K, there's no Z either, oh, they gave us a U, how generous, so we got the F and we got the U. Mud. We got a word. And the word is mud. Apparently that is also our name. Let's see. We got a J. For Jacob likes to play. But only if he's going to win. Blasted lottery. Uh, let's see. We got a C. I can't see the point in playing anymore because there's no way we're going to get anything out of this one. Can you see any more C's? There's an O. Oh, man.
That was quite a few O's. G, of course. Aw, oh, G. How kind of them to give us a G when there aren't any G's. We got mud and solve. So we got two words, but we don't win anything unless we get three words. <sighs> At least we got two games left. And they gave us the letter I. Which doesn't actually get us anything. N-A-R-W, that's what we were missing. So close, but so far away. Yeah, they gave us the F and they gave us the U. Imagine that, how kind. Okay, that's game one. We got game two and game three. Let's scratch this one before we move it out of the way. Are you guys having fun? One times multiplier... What a kind of an FU is that? Bonus multiplier one time. Who does that? It's like, no, you lost. Sheesh. Dirty words. Okay, so let's turn this a little bit more. And we'll go to this part. See, we don't have any A's. They didn't they didn't give us the hole. Or the A. Let's see, we got the P. So we'll scratch the P. No P's. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Just the one. Uh, let's see, an F. We got an F. But we're definitely not going to be able to buy a farm. Let's see. We definitely won't be able to get any acreage. This game is full of A's and we didn't get an A. Kind of demotivating to do the second one after the first one. It was such a letdown. Let's see. T, the letter T. Especially since we know we don't have any A's. Letter T. Letter T is for totally not going to get anything from this one. Letter T. Okay, letter S. Letter S for swindled. So that's what happens when you buy a lottery ticket. You get swindled. 
Letter L. For larceny. Which is probably what they are doing to us when they sell us lottery. Some 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 form of larceny. H We got the H, we got the L, we got the E. You put them in the right order. B, the letter B, and there are no B's on this. Except for one. Which I think it'd be a waste because we don't have the letter Y. Why are we even trying? X. Is there an X? No. All the X's are in my phone book. Uh, let's see. Letter M for dream. Because that's what we must be doing if we think we're going to win the lottery. You know, the W's just look like upside down M's. I think we could probably get it by them if we just turn the card upside down as we give it to them. Right? You think? Another H in the word throat. Ah, the word throat. The part of us that they have us by. Thank you, Benny. No T and A. We got the T, but they didn't give us the A. Friggin' second base. Cut off by the shortstop. Let's see, the letter B. Did we do the B? We did the X. We did the M. M for dream. Did the letter D. As in delightfully aggravating. D D D D D D D D D How you guys doing today? Ready to make the last week of this year a great one? Thanks for hanging out with me while I do this scratch off ticket. It's a it's a tradition, right? Okay, D E for Eam. E for even the smartest of us like to dream even though we not know we're not gonna win. I figured getting an E, we'd win something. Ready to start next year tomorrow. Beautiful. Oh, the Tom Kelly show is going to start, except I don't think he uploaded a video this week. A lot of people have been depressed this year. The end, of, the end of this year. Not all year, just the end of this year. Trying to get people out of it. Even me. I found that if I have something to hope for, it really helps. Unfortunately, the lottery isn't really very helpful in that sense. 
It's like a big pick you up and then drop you. Let's see, K. There is no reason to be okay with the fact that we're not winning right now. Let's see. Z? Is there a Z? I can't Z any Z. I can't Z any. Do you Z any Z? J. There is no J. Looks like I took all the J's for my name. C. You see a C? I can't see a C. There's an O. Which stands for oh no. We should have kept our money. E and flu. Ah, thank. You. Acreage has a C. So good of you to see that. Oh, no, I think we're out of O's. G. For G whiz, I can't believe they're not going to give us anything on this one. Dog, as in you dirty dog, you ain't getting nothing. Get, as in you dirty dog, you ain't getting nothing. And the letter I. We have one eye, because they're going to poke our other eye out. We try to take them for the winnings. So we've got two words, dog and get. The only thing left are A's, R's, W's, and N's, and Y's. Which is what we should be, considering we know we don't win when we play the lottery. I am friendly. Yeah, <laughs> there's no we in friendly. Okay, we got one more little game to play. Over, because this game is over. We got O, V, and E, but no R. We got the I and the L. So we did get one word there. Let's see, we got a V, but no A. We got a U. Did we get a T? Yeah, there's a T. T O T, so tot. 
but no tater. Let's see, no R and no A. We did get a P and an I and a D. And we did get an E, but no R. No A, we got a C. No A, no R. We got the O's. We got the T's. We got the K, so that's okay. We got the I. We got the S. And we got the E. But no A's and no R's. So we only got two words in that one. Oh man, we broke a great tradition. That's all right, I'll scan it. Maybe I missed something. But uh, there's always next year, right? There's always next year. We'll play another one next year. Maybe we'll even play one on New Year's. Probably not. I only really only do the one of these a year. But... Um, Next year, we'll be able to start the tradition all over. Slow start to the end of the year, but it's not the start of the new year. That doesn't happen for another week, which means we have a whole week to get ready for the next week. I keep blowing my screen to clear away the scratch dust. <laughs> Benny, you're awesome. You're all awesome. Colette, you're great. Thank you for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed doing the scratch ticket. I hope you enjoyed the show. I hope you enjoyed the ruby and zoisite. I really did. I think it's a great stone. It's one of my favorites so far. We're going to have, um, hopefully, this piece of blue chalcedony next week. I'm excited about this one. I like it. It's a nice piece. Pretty cool gem. It's just not done yet. It's close. Might be a different gem, but hopefully we'll be doing this one. And then we'll do some other stuff. And we'll be able to start the new year on a really nice golden foot. Well, hopefully it's not golden because that would be heavy. But we'll have some more jokes and some more awesomeness and some more great audience next week and every week at 9 p.m. Eastern.